Thank you for joining us now. We'll begin from what's making uh, the round now. Some of the stories making the rounds now. The fourth one talks about uh, the subsidy removal as market plans 30,000 gas stations and sick uh, CBL loans. Oil marketers have written to the federal government over their proposal to build about 30,000 gas stations to cushion the effect of the proposed subsidiary removal on premium, which is very popularly called petrol. Nigerians are currently counting down to June 2023 projected date for subsidiary removal as a call for palliatives to ameliorate the impact of the halt in subsidy is gaining momentum. There are also projections that petrol may sell for about 750 naira per litre if the federal government removes subsidy by June this year. To help cushion these oil markets, uh, in a letter to the Federal Ministry of Finance and uh, also asked the federal government to make the Central Bank of Nigeria release the 250 billion naira intervention fund for the National Gas Expansion Program as loans to vehicle owners to acquire gas conversion kits. And away from there now, loan apps on Play Store will lose their ability to access their users' contacts or photos from May 31, 2021, uh, 2023. This came as the federal government said it will enforce the latest policy by Google saying the action was consistent with the Nigerian authorities to move to curtail the invasion of customers' privacy by loan app firms. The federal government had in recent time registered about 170 loan apps out of the 200 operating in the country, a major decision aimed at tackling the violation of customers' privacy by loan apps. Google, in its April 2023 policy update, said the new policy update will provide respite for loan app users in Nigeria and other places that have become accustomed to crude loan retrieval method employed by a majority of loan apps. In spite of concerted efforts to diversify the nation's export earnings, contribution of the non-oil sector to the total export earnings dropped to 10.1% in 2022 from 10.8% in 2021. The decline also comes at the backdrop of the 8.6% year-on-year growth in non-oil export earnings to $5.94 billion during 11 months ending October last year from $5.47 billion in the corresponding period of 2021. Since the launch of the National Development Plan uh, 2025, which seeks to achieve 44 trillion naira export revenue, the Central Bank of Nigeria, a CBN and the Nigeria Export Promotion Council, NEPC, have introduced new programs to boost uh, export earnings. This includes rates to $200 billion, which seeks to attract $200 billion US dollars of export earnings within three years or up to five years. A major component of the RT 200 introduced by CBN in 2021 is the FX rebate scheme, which pays 65 uh, naira uh, rebate for every $1 of export repatriated and sold are the investors and exporters INE window to authorize dealers banks for third party use of 35 naira rebate for every dollar repatriated and so are the investors and exporters uh, for own use. And now Nigeria's debt servicing bill went up by 14.68% to 3.36 trillion naira in 2022. Data from the debt management office has shown According to DUEMO, 2.93 trillion naira was spent on external and domestic debt servicing payment in 2021. Record that the DMO had earlier reported that Nigeria's total debt stock stood at 46.25 trillion naira as of December 2022. Reports show that debt servicing under the President Mohamed Buhari has remained or maintained an upward trend since 2016. Well, it's Monday edition of the program. And, uh, of course, we do know that the market, uh, talking about the domestic market, is still on a holiday. We take a break now. When we return, of course, it will be time to take a look or make sense of some of these top business headlines. Join us again. <laughs> 